Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Today, I finally got my hands on this fragrance. Halloween Man Mystery. Which really, at this point, the mystery is, why did it take me so long to find this? Up till now, pretty much all of the Halloween Man fragrances have gotten into stock pretty quickly in the US at discounters at least. But this one, this one did not. It took forever. And then it finally popped up at Joma's shop, so I placed my order, and it took like uh, two weeks to get here. But here it is. And uh, right now, as of this video, I think it's running 30 bucks for a smaller size and 40 bucks for the larger one. Now, in case you're unaware of some of the fragrances that have come before Halloween Man Mystery, my absolute favorite is Halloween Man X, which that one has a really pleasant to me anyway, coffee note, a prominent coffee note. Though, if you don't like coffee, it probably won't be for you. But for the price you can pick that up for, I think it's a really solid cheapie. And it reminds some people of fragrances like Ferragamo Womo or Womo Signature. Then the original Halloween Man, which comes in a purple bottle. That one is a little bit similar to uh, Paco Rabanne's One Million. Then Halloween Man Shot is really good. Flies under the radar. Good compliment puller. Halloween Man Hero, a blue fragrance. Maybe not the most exciting thing on earth, but if you can pick it up on the cheap, another solid pickup. We're gonna see today where this falls in the Halloween Man hierarchy. As of right now, my favorites are Halloween Man X and Shot. And I'll have this one linked in the description in case you wanna check it out. I don't know if it's gonna start popping up at discounters and the price goes down, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, but as of right now, when I'm filming, it's pretty much Joma Shop. All right, let's uh, let's open it up. Let's see how it looks. I'm just the sloppiest opener of bottles. All right, here we go. On the front, Halloween Man Mystery Eau de Parfum, 125 mil size. It says Halloween up top. Why? Only you know why <laughs> on the side. And then on the bottom, you have your ingredients, your badge code, your barcode. Badge code M21713. Why? Only you know why. Oh, it says it again. I'm not exactly sure what message that's trying to get across. So here we got the bottle, typical Halloween man style bottle. This one is blacked out. So you have a matte black finish up top and then the bottle is black. And then on the bottom, you've got your sticker with your batch code. Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and share a couple sprays on the tester strip here and see what we're working with. I do always look forward to the Halloween Man releases because I know that they're a potential future cheapie. And if they're well done, then that's great because then you've got another high quality cheap fragrance out there. Hopefully this is that. Before I start sniffing away, here are a bunch of codes that you can use if you shop online. GS11 gets you 11% off at fragflex.com. And then we've got all these other codes too save you some money. All right, let's check it out. It does have quite a synthetic feel off the top. I can tell you that much. So it's a uh, lightly soapy lavender, uh, maybe more than lightly soapy, and then a good amount of fruits, uh, quite sweet. I've seen it draw comparisons to Y Eau de Parfum, but off the top, I'm not getting that. Again, this is off a tester strip. It's not off skin right now. I'll spray it in a second, but I'm not getting a Y from this. I mean, on the box I am, but why, uh, specifically why Eau de Parfum? It opens up with that apple and then the sage, and it gives it a very particular scent profile. The type of sweetness it has is different than this. This is more zingy, but in a kind of synthetic way compared to why, and then it has that soapiness in here, that lavender, and the, the fruits are yeah, just, just quite different. Not as much body to them. This is gonna give you those shower gel kind of vibes. All right, let's, uh, let's spray it on skin. Let's see what's doing here. Now, it's not that I hate this, uh, the way that it smells, it's just this is, it doesn't compete for me right now with, uh, with X or Shot. Completely different kinds of fragrances, to be fair, but. All right, let's let this settle for a sec. Let's hope off skin it's better than the tester strip. Settle, settle, settle. What's funny here is off the first smell, I was like, oh, that smells like some nuttiness, like way in the background, but there's none of that in the fragrance. I was like, oh, so what could that be? Then I looked up the note breakdown just now and there's hazelnut <laughs> in the mid and I was like, oh, that's that. But it's way in the background and, and I thought legitimately that I was going crazy for a second. So I don't think that's something that um, is really, it doesn't really play a big part. I think 
95% of people are not gonna pick up on that at all. And that's not me patting myself on the back. I'm just saying I legitimately caught a whiff of it and thought, is there is there a, a nuttiness in there? That, that makes no sense. And then when I looked it up, I saw, so now I don't get it at all. So, so off skin, um, it's actually not quite as sweet. It's more sweet off the tester strip, as far as the fruits go. You can still get them there, but I'm gonna spray it over here too. Heck with it. Settle, settle, settle. That fleeting, fleeting hazelnut is more so off the top and behind other things, so it barely matters. It's more lavender off the top. Um, little, little citrus, little fruity sweetness in there, but more lavender. Again, kind of a bright, sparkly lavender. You start to get this woodiness that comes out. Ah, touch of earthiness as well, but still pretty clean. I don't know, it's it's okay. It does leave like a linger, uh, like on the inside of your nose. Now, to be fair, to be fair, when you're wearing a fragrance, this doesn't happen, okay? So when you're walking around, or you're walking by, or you're just standing there and somebody catches a whiff of what you're wearing, it's not the same as what I'm doing, right? So with this first impression, I'm, you know, I, I keep doing this, you know, I'm essentially like point blast shotgunning the fragrance into my face. So keep that in mind. Uh, but when you do that, it almost makes your nose tingle, like your nose hairs a little bit. And what that does, right or wrong, is it gives you the impression of, oh, this is like a little harsh. You know, this is a little bit on the cheap side, which to be fair, it's a Halloween fragrance. But when that's hitting you like that and it causes your nose to kind of tingle, it, it makes you feel, mm. Are you smelling what I'm smelling? Yeah, yeah, I smell something. Is the quality here? Almost what it's like uh, is, I guess one way you could think of it, and this is just kind of a way to describe how it's coming across. When you smell something that is really high quality and you know it's high quality and you get that, almost feels like a delicate scent profile when it hits your nose. Even if there's a lot going on or even if there's not much going on, it can still be simple, the fragrance, but it feels like the molecules are just kind of tiny, tiny, right? The way that it hits your nose. So it's almost like a paintbrush, a very thin paintbrush. It feels like that when you're smelling it. You're like, ooh, yeah, this is multi-textured and I'm getting all this uh, just from my nose. And then sometimes you'll have fragrances that you smell and it's like, uh, it's just kind of getting walloped. So instead of a little fine paintbrush that like a painter would use, it's, you know, it's like a roller brush that you would use to paint your walls. Or instead of really fine little pieces of sand, it's like big boulders. <laughs> it's kind of how that feels when you smell it. So when you smell it close, you kind of just get like, pop each time that you smell it. That's kind of how it's coming across. Maybe that doesn't make any sense, but uh, when you smell this up close over and over, that's the impression that you get. That's the impression that I get. Mm, 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 mm. Mighty, mighty fragrance tones. So that fruitiness, it settles in, but really it's not as overwhelming as you think it's gonna be when you smell it off the tester strip. It, it settles in and works with the lavender. And then as that lavender starts to fade, it works with this patchouli vetiver. You've got some floral powder in there as well, and you pick that up pretty early on, and it's it stayed on the whole time that I've had it so far, which it's not in the far dry down or anything, but you can still pick up that little bit of powder. I don't think this is uh, close enough for me personally to be used as an alternative to why. Like if you were looking for something that's cheaper than why, but smells like why, I, I wouldn't really recommend this one myself. I think maybe sort of like if you enjoy why, you would probably like this one in the sense that they're both the type of fragrance um, that they are, which is to say that they're both very versatile fragrances with some sweetness uh, that are at the same time clean. You know, the type of fragrance you could use pretty easily about any time, but I don't think it's like really, really close to why, but it does say why on the box, so I don't know. It's pushing out pretty well. Uh, it's got pretty good performance right now, so it's not coming across weak. Uh, it is an eau de parfum. Oh, nothing to see here. I'm gonna have to wear it more and, and see if it grows on me. I think right now I would put this one easily below Halloween Man X for me personally and Halloween Man Shot. Kind of on par with Halloween Man Hero. I think right about there. It's similar in usage, I would say, to Halloween Man Hero. Like both of them are made to be versatile, easy going fragrances by and large. I think Hero is fresher, uh, gonna be better suited for spring summer. This is more like a type of scent that you would use probably fall and uh, spring. You could pull it off during winter. That sweetness does linger, actually. The longer it stays, you get like a syrupy kind of sweetness in there from the fruits. Yeah, and that comes through pretty strong. 
Yeah, I wouldn't wear this in summer. Probably a little too cloying, I would say. Yeah, yeah, if you spray that on heavy during summer. Yeah, it's gonna be like ugh, a little bit heavy on that sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this one some more. Uh, 40 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty much like the high end, I think, of what I would suggest for this. If this size, the 125 mil, creeps down a little bit, gets down in the 30 range, maybe below 30 even, that's a lot more attractive at that price point. I know 10 bucks is not huge, but you know, the difference between 40 and 30. So Halloween Man mystery, um, decent. Decent. First impressions, I'm not blown away uh, for the reasons that I mentioned in the video, but at the same time, this has pretty good usability. This is the type of fragrance you can just, you can just grab and go. You know, there's nothing too crazy going on. It's not anything trying something very new where you could smell it and go, ooh, what is that? So you don't have that issue. On the flip side of that, it's probably not gonna be anything that too many people smell and go, wow, <laughs> you know? But a solid little fragrance, not too bad. So there we go, Halloween Man. Uh, mystery, I'll give it some more wear, and if uh, things change around drastically, I'll do a review on it and let you know how things flipped and flopped. And if the price goes down on this, I think that'd be a pretty sweet pickup. If you're a fan of the Halloween Man line, honestly, the price it's at now is, is fair. It's not a price where I think it's, you know, overdone or anything like that. I think 40 bucks for that size, you can get a lot of use out of that. All right, guys, thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. See you later. See you guys. Thank you.